Hi, I'm Dr. Margot Jacot, the founder and director of the Juniper Center. And I have so many parents contact us who are looking for solutions for their kids. And, you know, as a therapist, I've been trained, don't do something, please sit there, you know, be a good person for them to come and talk to and to listen. And that's so important. And as a parent, I also understand that at times you want to know, what do I do? So I'm going to give you some tips on how you can help your child by you being able to have something you can hopefully do for them and with them. And as I say with them, I do mean with them, because if you're asking them to do something that you don't know how to do, kids are smart. They're going to figure that out right away. So what we're going to talk about today is how to teach your kid to be a bit of a sleuth. And this is a better concept of being a sleuth for a younger kid than it would be for perhaps a teenager, a teenager, especially an older teenager. It's like, okay, so, you know, be like a good reporter. You want to find the facts. We're talking about the facts. And that's what a sleuth does. A sleuth is looking for the facts. So what you're teaching your kids to do is identify facts, not just feelings. Understanding your feelings, being able to talk about your feelings, I am all for that. I teach that to my kids all the time, whether they like it or not. But being able to stick to the facts and look at what's really happening is critical. So how do you teach your kid to be a sleuth? Number one, you have them stop, take a breath, get calm, because it's really difficult for us to find our facts, to find our logical part of our brain, this logical center of our brain, when we're in heightened emotion. Those two parts of your brain, the emotional and the thinking part of your brain, work like a scale. One goes up, one goes down. So you want to help your kids get calm. Take a couple of breaths. Let's just look at what's really going on here. This is how I start with my kids, and this is what I teach parents to do. Just take a breath. Let's talk about, let's just look at what's really going on here. What do you know to be 100% true? Well, I feel like she doesn't like me anymore, or I feel like he doesn't want to be my friend anymore, or I'm afraid I'm going to fail the test, or whatever it is that they're scared of. Okay, well, what's making you think that? And I use the word think. They're saying feel, I'm saying think. What's making you think that? Well, and then they'll tell you all the things. She didn't look at me, or she hasn't returned my phone call, or you know, she's not answering my text, or... You know, I didn't do so well on the last test. Okay, what is a fact? A fact is something that is publishable in a journal or admissible in court. Your feelings really aren't. So is there evidence to support what they're saying is true? And in the moment when they're upset, they're going to say, yes, of course there's evidence. And there's this and there's this and there's this. Well, no, that's feelings. That's your fear. And then you can start to parse out what it is that really has happened. And the more you do this with your child, the more they're going to strengthen those connections between the emotional centers of the brain, which are fully online, especially with teenagers, and the thinking, judgment, rational, decision-making part of the brain just isn't quite online yet. It's there, but the connections haven't really strengthened between the two yet. So you help them get calm, you help them take stock really of the facts, not the feelings, just the facts, and build on those facts. I say to my son all the time, your crystal ball works as well as mine does, and I don't have one. So let's look at what's really happening. And usually when kids do that, they can start to calm down. It doesn't mean they're always going to recognize that there's no problem. Sometimes there is a problem, but then we can problem solve our way through what are the actual facts and what's the actual situation, not just the fear. So that's my suggestion for you. Teach your kid to be a journalist or a sleuth or a reporter. Help them find the facts. You get yourself calm. Help your kid get calm if they will do that with you. And then go on your fact-finding mission. It'll be much easier to problem solve. Please let me know your thoughts, any questions you might have, and I'm happy to answer them here. This is Dr. Margot Jacot from the Juniper Center.